Good morning, learners and all the other viewers at home. At KU TV studio today is Teacher Mary. Teacher Mary will be taking you through a science lesson um, on uh, sinking and floating. And the topic is other properties of matter. Welcome. Uh, properties of matter is what we are going to look at. And uh, we find that matter, we usually say that matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. Matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. Now we have three states of matter. And th the three states of matter are solids, liquids, and gases. Now, as we talk about the topic floating and sinking, we are going to consider the three states of matter as we investigate the various aspects of floating and sinking. So, uh, our topic from the topic properties of matter is floating and sinking. Floating and sinking is our topic for today. So, we start by asking ourselves what is floating. Um, many other times that we have put something in a liquid and it comes to the top of the liquid. So, in regard to floating, we look at which solids. So, here we are looking at solids and liquids. We are also going to look at how gas, how the gas affects floating and sinking. So, um, we are going to look at solids and liquids. It is the solids that usually float in liquids. So in this case, we say that floating, floating is the ability of an object in this case, the object here is a solid, is seen on top of a liquid. There are many things that make uh, solids to be seen on top of a liquid. And the opposite happens to sinking. So, sinking is the ability of a solid to be fouled or to, re to go down to the bottom of a liquid. So, uh, we look at sinking as the ability of a solid to be found at the bottom or at the bottom or down a liquid when you put it in a certain liquid which is in a container. The ability of an object. The object in this case is a solid. to go down a liquid. Or to be found at the bottom. To be found at the bottom of a liquid. And this liquid is in a container. Now, we, has, we have said there are many aspects that are, we, are, we investigate. 
when we are discussing floating and sinking. Um, so if we, if we look at floating, we are investigating floating. There are many solids or objects that can float. For example, we have feathers, we have paper, we have objects made of plastic, we have objects made of wood, we have objects made of mm, wax, feathers, paper, plastic, wood and wax, all these items usually float and they are called floaters. If we look at um, sinking, we have objects that sink. Such objects can be made from metals. All objects which are made from metals usually sink when you put them in a liquid or they go to the bottom of that liquid. Now we have stones. When you put stones in uh, a liquid, they will go to the bottom, so that is sinking. We have items like chalk. When you put pieces of chalk in a container where you have a liquid, they will sink. So those are just examples of items that sink and they are called sinkers. So we have examples of items that float and items that sink. The items that float are called floaters and the items that sink are called sinkers. Now it's very important to look at this topic because it will help us in our daily lives. For example, when somebody drowns and uh, you hold on to a log of wood. You hold on to a log of wood. Wood is a material that floats. However big that piece of wood is, it will always float. So that person will not sink because the floater wood will make this person to float on top of the water. Now, uh, we have factors to investigate in floating and sinking. And that is our next uh, item that we are going to look at. We are going to look at factors that affect floating and sinking. Factors that affect floating and sinking is what we are going to look at. Um, we have three factors. Factors that affect floating and sinking. Now we have three aspects that we usually investigate. In our experiments on this topic, we investigate three aspects. And these aspects are material, we have shape and we have size. These are the aspects which are investigated and uh, you can do some of these simple experiments at home as we move on. So we investigate these three aspects and we are going to see how they affect floating and sinking. Now we start with material. Let's take an example of, we take an example of uh, maybe plastic. You can take items made of plastic, uh, you compare small items and big items, some which are heavier than others. You can take a plastic cup and you can take a plastic 
bucket. Now these are not of the same size, they are of different sizes, they are of different weights, but when you put both of them in water, uh, they will always float regardless of their sizes, regardless of their weights. So you find that one of the aspects which is investigated in floating and sinking is plastic. So you find that all materials made of plastic will, uh, will float. All materials which are made of paper, all materials which are made of paper will float. All materials which are made of wood will float. All materials which are made of wax will float. You can take a piece of wood, a small piece of wood, like a pencil or any other item you have at home, and put it in a basin of water. And you can take a big piece of wood, even a stool made of a stool made of wood. If you put both of them in water, they are of different sizes, but they will float because of their material. So the next thing that you are going to look at is shape, shape of objects. Um, in this case, you are going to look at a piece of, an item which is made of metal. We, t we may take a um, sufuria. A sufuria is made of metal. Now, if, I, if you take a sufuria, a sufuria is made of metal, and it is it may be heavy. It is made of metal and it is heavy. If you put it on water, the sufuria will float because of its shape. It has a, a hollow part. This hollow part traps a lot of air. The surface area still will also make it to float. If you crush the same sufuria, or you make it maybe into a ball, you crush it like that. So you make it into a ball and you put it in water, it will sink. If you have a bottle top, you can take a bottle top there at home. You can look for a bottle top. It is made of metal and metals are uh, sinkers. If you take this same bottle top and you put it on water, the bottle top will, uh, a bottle top, a, a bottle top is made of metal and metals are sinkers. But because of the shape of a bottle top, because of the shape of a bottle top, maybe that shape, if you put it in water, it will, it will uh, float, although metals are sinkers. If you crush these same bottle tops, and you make it something like a ball, you change the shape of this bottle top. So you find that because you have changed the shape, it will sink. That means that this one floated because of its shape. This shape will make it to, to float on water. So uh, shape affects floating and sinking. You find that you can have items which are made of sinkers, but when you change their shape, they will always, they will always um, float. Now, you also find that we have other items, apart from the bottle top, which you can change, which you can investigate at home very easily. We also have other items, like, uh, we also have other items or other things that shows that as that shape affects floating and sinking. Uh, a boat, the shape of a boat, the shape of a ship, a ship is very heavy, a boat is very heavy, but because of their shapes, they are able to float in water. Now we look at the third item, which is the third aspect that affects floating and sinking, and that is size. Now, 
size is usually in investigated, but you find that these two, the material and the shape, are the only ones that will affect floating and sinking. If you look at a ship, it's very big and it's very heavy, but does not sink regardless of its size. We have looked at a sufuria here, a smaller one, a bigger one, so long as it has this shape, it will always float. We have also given examples of a log of wood and a small piece of wood or a small item made of wood, like a pencil. If you put them in water, regardless of their size, they will, uh, they will float. Now, so size does not affect size does not affect floating and sinking floating and sinking so we have learned that the three aspects which are investigated in floating and sinking only two of them affects floating and sinking and that is the material and the shape this one the size does not affect floating and sinking. So in your questions, as you revise a top, the topic floating and sinking, you should always remember that aspects that affect floating and sinking are three. We have material, we have shape, and we have size, but only the material and the shape that affects floating and sinking. So I would like to ask to look at some questions which are usually asked during the KCPE. Um, so these are the KCPE questions. You can find them from past papers. You can look for KCPE boosters and find these questions and do them. So 2017 number 11 and number 33, 2014, number 36, 2013, number 39, 2012, number 21, 2011, number 36, 2010, Number 11, 2009, number 37, 2008, number 12, uh, 2007, number 28, 2005, number 40, 2004, Number 17, 2002, number 23, and 2000, number 10. Uh, so you can see that this is a highly tested topic, and you should look at those questions that we are going to look at a few. So we are going to look at 2017. 2017 number, we are going to look at 2017. Um, we start with 2017, number 11. 2017, number 11. So I'll write the question here, the table below. The table below shows the results. Of an investigation. Done by pupils. On floating. and sinking.
So I am drawing that table here. So we have student and we have objects that sink. And we have objects that float. We have the choices charcoal and pencil and we have a pin and a razor blade then have F recorded a bottle top and a stone then we have a metal dish and a plastic a plastic plate then we have student student G a nail and a piece of glass then here we have caldol wax and plastic bag And we have student H. This is wood and wax. Here we have a nail and a stone. Uh, these are students who recorded objects that can sink and objects that can float. Now they gave their uh, we are going to look at the answers. Um, student E said charcoal can sink and a pencil can sink. Now this is wrong because charcoal is made of wood and wood is a floater. The same case applies to a pencil. A pencil is made of wood and wood is a floater. So this is wrong. Then you move to objects that can float, a pin. A pin is made of metal, so it is a sinker. A razor blade is made of metal, so it is a sinker, depending on the way you place it on the liquid. Now we have bottle tops. A bottle top usually floats, so it is wrong in this column. Then we have a stone, a stone can sink. Uh, then we have a metal dish. A metal dish, because of its shape, it can float. Now we have a plastic uh, plate. This is a floater because of the material. Uh, plastics usually float. So F is wrong because of this, because of the bottle top is not a sinker. Now we move to G. A nail can sink because of its material. It is made of metal. A piece of glass is a, uh, is a sinker because all glasses, whether big or small, whether a rod of glass or a glass, uh, can usu uh, usually sink, so it is a sinker, so it is in the correct column. Then you move to caldo wax. Caldo wax is a floater. Um, because of the material, this, is, this material works usually floats whether it is big or small then we have plastic bag it floats because of the material so that question uh, we move on to H now wood is a floater regardless of its size or weight so it is in the 
wrong column. Then we move to wax. It is also in the wrong column because of the material. Then we move to floaters, a nail. A nail is a sinker, so it is in the wrong column. Then even a stone is a sinker, so it is in the wrong column. So you find that the correct, the student who recorded the correct observation is uh, student G because these two, the nail and the piece of glass are sinkers while object, uh, while cardo wax and plastic bag are floaters. We can move on to another question. We move to another question. And the question that we'll look at is 2014, number 36. 2014, I write the question on the board. In an investigation on factors affecting floating and sinking in an investigation uh, on factors on floating and sinking, affecting floating and sinking, pupils carried out the following activities. following activities. Activity one, placed a bottle top. They placed a bottle top in water. Activity two, they made the same bottle top. They made the same bottle top mm, into a ball, into a ball, and placed it on water. The question was, which one of the following of the following factors were the pupils investigating now the choices their choices given but even before we move to the choices, um, they placed a bottle top in water. That is a fact activity that they did. Now, of course, you should ask yourself what happened when they placed this bottle top on, on water. Remember the shape of the bottle top. Although it is made of metal, it will make it to float, although metals are sinkers. Now, they made the same bottle top into a ball and placed it on water. Now let us look at the choices given. A, um, size, A, size, B, shape, type of material, And the last choice, mass. Now the fact that metals sink may confuse a learner, but remember that although a bottle top is made of metal, 
uh, the shape that a bottle top has will make it to float. Now, when you crush it and make it into a ball or change it into a ball, you have now changed the shape. So it is not the material because metals sink. So that one is out. Uh, mass, it is not mass because mass is not in the syllabus as we investigate floating and sinking. It's not because of the mass, because even heavy objects, whether they are uh, some heavy object uh, may not float, may not float and therefore it is not mass. So the size of this bottle top, the size has not changed. Heavy ob uh, big objects can float because of their materials. So uh, we find that since you have made this metal, this metallic bottle top into uh, the shape it has, it will, it will float and therefore when you crush it again, you find that you have now changed the shape and it is going to sink. So the correct answer is choice boy. Now we look at another question. And the question that we are going to look at um, is 2013. 2013, number 39. We are going to look at question 39 of the year 2013. Twenty thirteen, number thirty nine. The question is here which of the following? Which of the following groups of objects consists of only? objects that would sink that would sink in water choice a or a piece piece of chalk steel needle And stone. That is choice A. Nail, piece of glass, and stone. Correction there. This is cork. Bottle top. Nail. Cork and dog. Piece of chalk. And plastic bottle. Okay, so we look at the materials. Uh, you have to read the question very carefully because you may get confused. That is, there are some key words like only and sink. So you are looking at a group. Remember, in each choice, all of them must be sinkers. So in choice A, we have a piece of chalk. This one is a sinker. Uh, we have a steel needle. This one is also a sinker. Now this is because of the material. Chalk will always sink. Uh, steel needle, uh, steel is metal, so it will sink. And then we have cork. Cork is a material that floats. Now we have, so this one makes choice A out. 
uh, choice boy, we have nail. This one is a sinker because it is made of iron. It can also be made of steel. It's not specific, but a nail is made of metal. A piece of glass. Now, glass usually sink, and we have a stone. All stones will sink. So uh, before we conclude that that is our correct answer, we have to move on to the other choices. Like a bottle top, this one is a floater, so it is out. We have a nail. A nail will sink. Then we have cork. A cork will, f will, will float. So this one is out because a bottle top and a cork will float and we are looking at uh, sinkers. Then we have a piece of chalk. Here, a piece of chalk will, will sink, so it is correct there. Then we have a plastic bottle. Uh, plastics are floaters, so a plastic bottle will, will float. So this one makes Chase Dog wrong, and so our correct choice is Chase Boy. So uh, you have to be very keen you have to be very careful. You have to read the question carefully and read it many times so that you understand what you are being asked. Then we, we can have another example of a question on floating and sinking. Then we can have, we can have 2012, uh, number 36 of the year 2012. Let me write it. Yeah. No, I don't really have that question. So we can have, we can take another one. We can take a uh, question 209, number 37. So we have done that one, we have done that one. That one, we move to 2009, number 37 and The question reads, which of the following activities? And I would like you to, to note that in all the questions on floating and sinking, we have activities being carried out because we, the, top, the subtopic of the topic floating and sinking was investigating factors that affect floating and sinking. That is why you find that in most of the questions on floating and sinking, we have activities to be carried out. So the question number 37 of the year 2009 reads, which of the following activities will make, which of the following activities will make aluminum. Will make aluminum. Al remember aluminum is a metal. So anytime we are reading a question on floating and sinking, you should ask yourself various questions. The key words, so aluminum foil, that was floating. That was floating on water to sink. Uh, A increasing uh, amount of water, increasing the amount of water. B Rolling the, the aluminum foil into a tube. Mm, C. Making holes. On the aluminium foil and D crushing the 
the aluminium foil into a bowl. I will look at the each of each of each one of them. So increasing the amount of water. Uh, so before you look at the choices, read the question carefully and note the keywords like this is an aluminium foil and we have um, it was floating and you want it to sink. So the aluminium foil, aluminium is a metal and metals are sinkers. Um, but this one is a foil. It is like a sheet of paper. So when you place it on water, it will float because of its shape. So the aluminum foil, regardless of being a metal, will float because of the shape it has. Now, when you take this foil uh, and you put it on water, it will float. But the question asks, how do you make this aluminum foil to sink? The first answer is increases, increasing the amount of water. You should ask yourself whether when you increase the amount of water, you'll, make, you'll change the shape or the material, and your answer will be no, so it will not affect, uh, it will remain floating, it will not affect this aluminum foil. Then rolling the aluminum foil into a tube. When you roll it into a tube, it will remain afloat, it will still float. Um, then we have making holes on the aluminum foil. Making the holes on the aluminum foil will not change its shape. So you can only make it sink if you change the shape. And so when you crush the aluminum foil into a ball, you have changed the shape of this aluminum foil. And so our correct choice there is choice dog. Then we can have another question. We can have another question on uh, floating and sinking. Now, revising these questions will help you to prepare for your exam because you find that in most cases, questions are repeated, or no, although not copyrights. So we can take another question like 2010, 2010, 2010, number 11. And I write it here. Which one of the following pairs Uh, which of the following, which one of the following pairs consists of only materials that that would sink, that would sink, that would not sink? In water, even when the shape is changed. So, which one of the following pairs consists of only materials that that would not sink in water, even when their shape is changed? Okay, so here you read the question carefully and the line, the keywords, you are looking at pairs, you are looking at pairs uh, in the choices that would consist of materials that would not sink even when the shape is changed. So the first pair is wax and wood. The second pair is wood 
and aluminium. The third pair is aluminium and glass and dog is glass and wax. If you look at the choices given, you find that aluminium and glass are usually uh, repeated here. Now this is very confusing because in most cases uh, you find that most of the things that we have at home which are made of aluminium are sulfurias and when you put sulfurias in water they usually float but remember we also have other objects which are made of aluminium so the same case applies to glass because of its uh, shape the glass that we the glass that we usually use at home maybe for drinking water or any other thing is usually has a hollow shape and this may confuse the learners because they think the hollow shape will make it to to float and yet we also have other objects which are made of glass and they and they sink because glass is a material that sinks it is a sinker so we look at the choices um, we are looking at pairs where both we are looking at choices where both the objects will not sink. That means they will float. Not sinking means that the objects are floaters. So we have choice A, which is wax. Wax is a floater. And we look at wood. Wood is also a floater. Then we don't stop there because this is uh, what some learners how some learners end up wronging uh, an answer because of not looking at the other choices when you find that the correct answer is either A or B. Okay, so we move on. We look at choice boy. We have wood. We, wood is a floater, but aluminium is a sinker. So uh, that pair is wrong. So we have aluminium here. Uh, aluminium is, um, aluminium is a, a sinker. Uh, so the ticks mean that the material there is a floater. So we look at glass. Glass is a sinker too. Then we move to dog. Uh, glass is a sinker and we have wax, which is a floater. So the only choice that has both materials being uh, floaters is A and that is our correct answer. So. We can still have another question. These questions will help us a lot in determining the aspect which is being investigated. Among the three aspects that we have uh, when investigating floating and sinking, or aspects that affect floating and sinking, and remember we said that the two aspects that affect floating and sinking are shape and material, size is investigated just to make sure that it is only material and shape that affects uh, floating and sinking, but the size of an object does not affect floating and sinking. The next question that we can have is um, 2007, number 28. Now I'm writing the question. This one is a sufuria, and you can note that a sufuria in this case, in this topic of floating and sinking, appears in very many questions. A sufuria made of steel. A sufuria made of steel weighing 100 grams. Floats on water while a nail weighing fifty grams sinks. This is because
of the difference in the choices are type of material, the second one, volume and shape and mass. Now, uh, if we read the question, a sufuria made of steel, you underline the keywords. It is a sufuria, it is a keyword there. It is made of steel and it is weighing, um, it is weighing 100 grams. And what does it do? It floats on water while a nail weighing 50 grams will sink. Now, these items, the sufuria and the nail, are both made of metals. The sufuria is made of steel. You find that this word steel here is a key word. We know that most of the sufurias that we have are made of aluminium. And if Alana is used to, to that, that sufurias made of aluminium are the ones that will uh, float, he, may, he or she may get confused that steel is heavy. It is one of the heaviest metals and so thinks that it will sink. But the actual thing is that the sufuria, because of its shape, will always float. And then we have a nail, which is, um, a nail can either be made of steel or iron, but because of the because of the material and also the shape of the nail, a nail will always sink. Now, the question is, um, why does this sufria float? And why does the, the nail sink? Now, type of material. Now, both the sufuria and the nail, as you have seen, are made of metals. So this is not the reason why the nail will sink and the sufuria will float. It's not because of their volume, because uh, volume is not in the syllabus. As we investigate uh, floating and sinking, at the same time, it does not affect floating and sinking. As we, seen, we have seen earlier, volume does not affect floating and sinking. So it is also a wrong one. Now it is, uh, we have shape and we have said that shape is one of the things that affect floating and sinking. And these two, the sufuria and the nail, both of them are made of uh, metals, but the sufuria will float because of its shape. So we take a shape, we put a tick there, and then we said we should not stop there. We should move to dog. Now, uh, D, mass, we have mass. Mass does not affect uh, floating and sinking of an object. It is only the shape and the material that affects floating and sinking. So you find that in most of the questions, that are asked in KCP on floating and sinking, you have to consider shape and the material. Now, and we, you have to remember, even mass comes in, uh, in the choices, but does not affect floating and sinking. The same case applies to density. It does not affect floating and sinking. In this case, they're taught in the primary syllabus. Um, so we move on, we can still have another question. And we can have 2004, number 17. Let us see what is being investigated there and or what is being tested in that question. 2004, number 17. I'm leaving some of the questions because they are kind of repeated and testing the same aspect, so we move on to 2004, number 17. Uh, the question reads, a one long meter ruler, a one, a one meter, a one meter, piece of wood, not a ruler, it is a piece of wood.
a one meter long piece of wood floats floats on water well a one centimeter well a one centimeter long piece of iron iron rod sinks this is because this is because of the difference in now you have the choices Choice boy is not choice B material and C weight. And this is shape. Okay, so we have our question is on uh, a one meter long centimeter a one meter long piece of wood. So the keywords here are wood and one meter because it will give us a difference in the sizes. So one meter and a piece of wood is a keyword. It floats and then a one centimeter long piece of iron the material here is iron, will sink. The iron rod sinks. So, um, one meter long piece of wood, it is longer than the piece of iron, the one centimeter piece of iron, and yet the, I, the piece of iron will sink. Why does it sink? Now, the, is it because of the length? No, it because it is even shorter than the than the piece of wood it is is it because of the material now the material is one of the things that affect floating and sinking you should always remember that so uh, the pieces of wood or wood will always float regardless of its size or even its weight so well, we put a tick there as we move on and find out whether there is another answer which is close now we look at weight Weight does not affect floating and sinking, so it is out. Then we look at the shape. We are not given their shapes here, and regardless of their shapes, wood will always float, while iron will always sink, unless the shape has been changed. So here it is not because of the shape, because we are told that it is an iron rod. So the iron rod, uh, will not float, it will sink. So here the correct answer is choice boy because of their difference in materials. That is why uh, the, the piece of wood will sink, the piece of wood will float while the iron rod will, will sink. So uh, I think we are done with our lesson for today and it's a very important topic because it's usually tested and you can revise the you can do those simple experiments at home you can take different materials and uh, put them in liquids you can even take sugar when you put sugar in the tea the the sugar will settle at the bottom because of its material uh, so unless you unless you stir it you will find it at the bottom if you don't stir so uh, do those simple experiments at home take different materials of different shapes and 
put them in water, take also materials of different uh, sizes and put them in water and find out whether they will sink or they will float. So you should, when you're answering questions on floating and sinking, you should always remember that it is only two aspects that will affect the floating and sinking, and that is material and shape. Size does not affect the floating and sinking. Although it is one of the things that is investigated, it does not affect floating and sinking. So if you have any question, you can send your question to the number on the screen and we'll take care of, of, of it. So uh, until next time, it's goodbye for today. Thank you.